What is going on folks? This is Chaotic Videos and today we're doing a first look game impression on Evolve Stage 2. Evolve Stage 2 is the upgraded or remastered version you could say of Evolve the original. Evolve is a first person shooter video game developed by Turtle Rock Studios, published by 2K Games and distributed by Take 2 Interactive. I myself have not personally played Evolve the original but I've heard that they changed many many things on the new one. First off the main one is they made it free to play guys. Feel free to check out Steam Store. Second they removed and added some uh, extra features to some certain classes inside the game. And third off they completely changed the graphics up. It looks so much more beautiful now guys. Like I said, this is mainly from stuff I've heard from other people. Well, uh, looks like we're just gonna be uh, roaming around in the main menu just a little bit longer. And then we'll get right on into the game. Here guys, as you can see, we're in the main menu. On the top left, you see where it says Evolve Stage 2. This is just pretty much, how do I say, tips and tricks. And it shows you what uh, new stuff came out, some old stuff and all that, what they removed and added. On the top left, you currently have my profile, Chaotic Videos. As you can see, uh, this, if you click on it, it'll just show your account stats, items unlocked, rewards, etc. As you can see, uh, there's my character right here, and you also get rewards or silver keys for every time you level up, and you use those keys to unlock other unique stuff. Currently, I'm level 3, almost level 4. This, guys, is the character menu. You can choose between a variety of monsters if you wish to be one. And you also have the hunters, which there are different classes. There's assault, there's trapper, there um, or tracker, I believe. There's medic and there's support. And as you can see, you have quite a quite a lot of them, but still some are locked. You will have to purchase some. The actual monsters and hunters that are marked with a nice little cyclone, those are the monsters in rotation and they'll pretty much be rotated throughout the day or the week. Here currently, I uh, just showed you this character, you'll just pretty much see how you did on him, uh, what unlockables you have on him and other unique stuff like that. Next guys is the badges. When you first make an account, I recommend changing your badge up because you get some free amount of silver keys. Here as you can see, you just got a nice little... Um, redhead uh, you can call him that and uh, here you can change other types of badges such as your foreground and your background you can have some unique ones too but of course some are locked and you will have to purchase them or just unlock them later on as you level next guys is the leaderboards currently um, the game is still in beta it's currently in it says at the bottom right, Evolve Stage 2 Beta. This game does not have much of a leaderboard yet. Uh, hopefully they will be updating it soon, but of course guys, what's to expect, it's in beta. As you can see guys, if you click play on the bottom left of the main menu, you'll automatically be in the game after you search for a little bit. Um, training mode, you can actually do your tutorials here to actually learn how to play the game. You can do a hunt, which is just a regular monster on hunter. Or you can do a custom games with bots or friends. Next you have the challenges. This is one of the new and unique things added to the game guys. Challenges are daily and periodic challenges which if you do certain things like win a match as a trapper, support or gorgon, you get a periodic loot, or pe loot box periodically. And you also have daily challenges and stuff and you can actually exchange these challenges if you do not want to play as a meteor goliath click on it and click replace a challenge but currently guys you can only do that once per day and i've already done that a little while ago so i could not show it here i apologize next guys you have the options gameplay video keyboard and mouse audio and language uh we'll just check out the video real quick just so i can show you it is in full hd as high as it can possibly go so what you see is what you're going to be playing. Also guys, keep in mind when I do upload to YouTube, they always shrink down the quality a bit. So if you really like the quality online, it looks even better in game. 
Next, guys, we have the store. The store is actually added to the main menu, so you don't have to actually go out of store. Now, that's what I've heard you had to do in the previous one. Here, you can purchase different types of hunters or monsters, along with monster skins, hunter skins, and weapon skins for your specific character. If you want a pink mustache, you'll get a pink mustache. I kind of want that pink mustache. And as you can see on the top right guys, currently I have 2077 keys, or silver keys. Right under that is going to be extras. Extras we have um, patch, my K, 2k link, credits, and daily sign-in rewards. This guys is going to be the important part. Daily sign-in rewards are rewards you'll get for signing in daily. Ooh, what a shocker. Here guys, you can do up to 4 days, 11 days, 18, 24, and 25 to get the major rewards such as heroes and monsters. And you have also minor rewards in between those so you're not too bored. Then you have the option to exit the game, but who the hell wants to do that? Let's just get right on into it. Once you click play game guys, you choose either between hunt, ranked, or custom. Currently guys, ranked is for level 20 and higher, of course I'm pretty sure it's just like the hunt, but they actually rank you in that, so you can actually be on the leaderboard. And that also might be a reason the leaderboard's not working, because it is in beta, just came out 2 days ago, I don't think there's many level 20s. Though we are going to do a hunt. Down here guys, you have my character, you have the back options, you have the challenges, which you can actually just see from previous, and you have this important part, role preference. Here guys, you're going to want to click on your um, preference and slide it to where you want. Currently, I have an assault as my main preference, trapper as a second, monster as a third, support as a fourth, and medic as a fifth. So, if I want, let's say, be a monster, if I can't be an assault, I just move that to number two. And let's say if I want to go ahead and be a support rather than a monster, I'll go ahead and move that in front of him. So it's 1 through 5 from um, 1 being the most one to be played and 5 being the least. Which a lot of people's gonna, a lot of people are going to pick Medic, pretty sure. Alright, let's just hopefully find a game. Like this is actually um, my second or third game I've played and it's, it's pretty addicting. It's honestly pretty fun, I haven't played any games like this. Okay, here guys, you have the player options, which I love muting everybody because a lot of people like to talk random crap or nonsense. Pardon my French. You can also view their Steam profile here, if you wish. Alright, it looks like I did get to be a, uh, an assault. Luckily, um, here you have the actual character selection. As you can see under there, it says assault, and other people have their other roles. Now, right now I currently have 2 out of 6 characters unlocked, one of them for the rotation. And here you can just choose between your characters which one you want to play. Currently I'm going to do Hyde, because I'm actually a little bit used to him. I played him about 2 matches. As you can see, currently his weapon is a flamethrower, his secondary is a minigun, his third is a toxic grenade, and his fourth is defense matrix. Defense matrix, as it states, it just provides you with an extra shield, helps you out when you really need it. Just look at that belly. And here you can also change weapon skins and hunter skins if you have any. Though I do not. So we're just going to go ahead and accept. Now here guys is the important part. The perks. You'll need these. Focus. Here guys you can upgrade your character with perks. Such as regenerate 10% health. Increase flight, dam uh, flight. Increase movement speed or jetpack speed. Or increase damage overall. There's bronze, silver, and gold perks. Of course, bronze being the weaker one, silver being a little better, and gold just straight up being majorly, majorly important and very good. Here, I'm actually going to purchase this uh, just so I can uh, go ahead and have something on my character. And now we have the gold ones, but I am too broke to afford anything, so I am just going to go and no perk on that one. Here you see what everyone picked. Um... I believe, okay good, it looks like we do have a medic, that was the important part, and the monster is a goliath. Keep in mind guys, look it up, if you want to be good at this game, 
figure out what each monster's special abilities are and what they do, and how to survive. And here it just shows you something like new trap ability is planet scanner, and how to play hunt and other stuff. Hunters must find and kill the monster before the monster kills them. When the monster reaches stage 3, it can destroy the power relay. And that's a no-no for you. Definitely keep that power relay alive. Alright. Hunters, baby. Hunters. Kyra, you got any idea what's going on with our mutant support chick? I think I do, and you are not going to like it. She's not a chick, by the way. I would accept lady, or woman, or doctor. Okay, okay. Is she going to turn into an insane cracking wraith in the middle of the night? Um... Um? Not necessarily in the middle of the night? You kidding? I don't know what's going on, Abe. If you had told me Dr. Kala Kapoor would be helping me with my research, I'd have thought that was it. Problem solved. Yeah, luckily in the beginning, they actually like to have small conversations with each other. It's kind of funny. I uh, hear guys, you start off in a ship or spaceship, and you just go badass and you plummet down to the ground. Of course, there's no parachute, so apparently you're unharmed. Here's my character, guys. As you can see, WASD is for movement. To jump, click spacebar. To do a jetpack jump, just go ahead and double click and hold spacebar to use your jetpack. And also to dodge, you have to um, use A, S, W, and D, and double tap space. Left click is for shooting, right click is for your secondary action, such as if I pull out my minigun, it will be just a zoomed in aim. 1 through 4 is your abilities, such as your. Primary weapon, secondary weapon, throwable, and ability. And here as you can see we found tracks of the monster, so we're actually going to go ahead and track this monster down. Also to sprint just go ahead and hold shift. And it looks like our teammate already did capture the monster. To capture a monster when you're near him, um, go ahead and click F to activate the dome. On the top left you will see currently it says deployed and it says 4 minutes and 44 seconds once that goes down to zero we can actually deploy another dome a dome will prevent the monster from escaping the area so you can go ahead and smash it up with your teammate you yourself can enter or leave the area at any time though I believe as you can see there is the monster over there on the top middle you see his HP along with his shield that he has right over that that is blue on the top left, you currently just see the deployed shield and when it's going to be ready again. On the bottom left, guys, you see everyone's HP. As you can see, he is targeting the medic, which is a smart move. You always do want to take the medic out first. On the bottom right, guys, you have my skills and weapons and their uh, cooldown generation. And here he did escape because our dome did get downed. It looks like it only lasts for about 4 minutes. Of course, as soon as it goes down, the monsters usually will try to escape because they're going to try to feed off the environment to try to upgrade to stage 2 and then stage 3. Stage 2 and stage 3, guys, is just pretty much upgraded versions of them. They get stronger, faster, bigger, and uglier. Hell, just when I hit puberty. Also, guys, on the bottom you have the, well, compass uh, slash minimap, you could call it. Because once somebody activates a planet scanner, such as your tracers, um, it'll point a nice red arrow in the direction of where the enemy is. Also on the right guys, you currently have my jetpack, which has four refill slots. And to actually boost or dodge, you have to waste an entire slot. Also when you're on walls guys, go ahead, well actually first let me tell you about this, this is a buff. Buffs guys, sometimes you kill enemies and you have the options to get a buff. You can only have one buff at a time and it only lasts for a certain amount of time and there's always different buffs so that's always useful. But when you have a wall in front of you and you don't have any more jetpack fuel and you don't want to f wait for it to regenerate, go up to the wall, click W, Shift and Space and that'll go ahead and um, slowly climb you up there with your jetpack without wasting any fuel. And here, someone did just use a scanner, as you can see on the radar, it's showing the enemy towards the east. 
So we definitely want to find them. And it looks like the tracks did lead up here, so we may have gone behind us. I'm kind of not sure. I just hear gunfire all over the place. And we do have our dome ready, so as soon as the enemy's in range, we will use it. Hopefully we can find this enemy soon. I really don't want him to feed off the uh, environment too much. Of course, even if they don't level when they feed, they they the enemy also gets power-ups. Be careful. But they also get shields every time they feed off the enemies or the environment, such as little dinosaurs, little bugs, and little critters. Okay, looks like oh there he is. There is the enemy, guys. I'm actually just going to place a dome just so he does not escape, though I probably did risk losing a lot of HP there. Looks like our teammates did put a nice little field around him so that will slow him down quite a bit. I'm actually going to get away just so I can um, get some range on him. And here I kind of lost him. The ah, there he is. As you can see, his shield is about halfway down, and I believe we have another three minutes on the actual dome. Currently, no one is dead on our team. Thank God. Good job, Medic. Hopefully, we can survive this, and I am going to try to use these uh, this flamethrower right here for a little bit. It is quite a good weapon at close range, but long range, not so much. And we have actually destroyed the enemy shield, and currently we are doing full damage on him now. Burn, baby! Burn! Usually, guys, if the enemy is actually skilled, this, this will not matter. He will destroy anybody. I remember when I first started playing this game, I believe we got destroyed by the monster in about eh, roughly a minute of him finding us. So like I said, you can either be the hunter or the hunted, depending on how you want to play. Okay, we do got 45 seconds left on the dome, so let's just go ahead and hunt him down until then. I'm going to go ahead and farm off these guys a little bit. Also on the left guys, the light blue bar I believe is my HP, I've not really been paying too much attention to it, because I never do for some reason. Not a very smart choice. I just love how the actual in-game characters communicate with each other, it's just hilarious. Um, also as you can see guys, the graphic is beautiful in this game. Um, I'm actually running it at about 120 frames per second currently, that is with everything on Ultra. And that is pretty good. I just love the how the game style is. I really do not play many of these hunt or hunted type games. So it's always it's always nice to see honestly. And you can consider this definitely you can definitely consider this a horror game because that thing is one ugly son of a bee. Yeah, we definitely got to get him because he does have full um, armor, but his HP is halfway down at least. I'm pretty sure at the um, character selection screen, it did say this guy as the monster did have two kills or two wins in a row. But it looks like I got a really, really good team here. Um, I see he is mainly focusing on the medic, and the medic is doing a good job of distracting him while it's still trying to stay alive. So it lets us do the full damage without getting disrupted. And it looks like his HP is very, very low. Uh, though our dome is down, I'm actually going to try to stop him with my flamethrower. 
Come on, come on. Ooh, it looks like he is getting away. There I was predicting for him to go to the left, though he did not. Well, guys, he has about one bar and a half left. It looks like everyone noticed that, so we are all rushing him, just trying to get him uh, down to zero because he is regenerating his shield quite a bit. As you can see here guys, I have no jetpack fuel, but I am using W, Shift, and Space to climb up the wall. So at least you're not going to be uh, too slow for, with your teammates. Guys, keep in mind also this is a team-based game. You have to stick with your team. You're going to need that Tracer with you. You're going to need that, um, <laughs> Tracer, I keep thinking of Overwatch. You're going to need that Assault with you. You're going to need everyone. Everyone has an important role. You guys really need to stick together. This thing can destroy one of you if you are alone. And that said, if you're a monster, there's no team base involved. You're just going to be killing everything. But you do got to play it smart. Of course, go for the medics first, then the supports. And possibly then the uh, tracer, then the assaults. And definitely keep, uh, keep uh, stay alive and uh, keep away from their dome. I myself have actually not played the monsters yet in actual online mode. I have done it in the tutorial. But it was pretty fun. And it looks like there is a buff here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Reloading equipment uh, items are something percent less. What a, well, I didn't actually read exactly what it was less, but hell, it'll work. Yeah, this enemy is straight up destroyed right here. He really doesn't have much of a chance. We just put down our dome, his HP is very low and his armor is almost completely down. I believe this gas is going to be game over for him and a win for us. I really gotta work on my aim with that flamethrower. So my aim with my uh, grenades are doing pretty well. And that is a victory! Hunters have won, folks. We have killed the monster. Once you have won or lost, guys, you will be prompted to please wait. Once you please wait, then you're going to go ahead and go into finish screen. Here you're going to see how far you leveled up your character. Not your actual person, but your character. And also other bonuses for leveling or just round bonuses or daily challenges bonuses you've received. As you can see, my character is currently level 6, though I myself am level 4. Well guys, well, that was about it. Hope you guys did like this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again.